Based on that, we are going to have f6 of 6 plus f7 of 7. Remember, fn plus 1 of x is defined as f of fn of x, and n here is a natural number. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem, and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem from J.E. Main from 2022. Here in this problem, we have f of x defined as x minus 1 over x plus 1. x is not going to be 0, negative 1, and 1 here. And we know that x can be any number from real numbers except for those that I just said. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with finding f2 of x. f2 of x defined as f of f of x. Here we have f of x defined as x minus 1 over x plus 1. So to find f of f of x, I'm going to use f of x here instead of x and you're going to end up with the value that you're going to see here. So basically after some simplification, we will end up with negative 2 over 2x or minus 1 over x. That's f2 of x here. Now we need to find f6 of x. So you can basically start with f2 of x, then f3 of x, and so on and so forth. But maybe we can find a shortcut here. The shortcut that I'm going to take is basically using f2 of x to find f6 of x. To do this, I'm going to apply f2 of x three times. For the first one, let's start with finding f2 of x applying on f2 of x. We already have negative 1 over x and I'm going to replace x here with another f2 of x. So you are going to end up with negative 1 over negative 1 over x, which is basically x. So now I'm going to apply another f2 of x on top of this and then you will see that basically we will end up with minus 1 over x for f6 of x. Now that we found f6 of x, we are going to apply another f on top of it to find f7 of x. To find it is basically very easy. We are going to just replace x with negative 1 over x. Then we will see 1 plus x over 1 minus x as the final outcome. For the last step, we are going to find f6 of 6. So we are going to have 6 for x in f6 of x. It's going to be negative 1 over 6. For f7 of 7, we are going to replace x with 7 in f7 of x. And the answer is going to be 8 over negative 6. If you add them together, you're going to end up with negative 3 over 2 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, must involve activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.